Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another RenderMan for Blend tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at HDRIs and portal lights and how this is a great addition to Blender because the previous portal light doesn't quite work the same as portal lights do in other DCCs like Maya and Houdini um, and other renderers like RenderMan and Redshift. So we're going to get into how to create a dome light which is essentially what uh, you might be referring to previously as an hdri and we're going to isolate where the light comes out of using a portal light and hey make sure you're subscribed with notifications on otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on youtube there is a feature similar to this in uh, blender already but it's uh, a little bit lacking in terms of what we would expect in the industry. So we're going to add a render man light and go to dome light. Uh, this also works with the uh, environment daylight as well uh, if you are preferring to use that. So we're going to add an image to our HDRI. So just go into light properties, go to color map and go to where your images are. And I'm going to use this backyard um, blurred one that I have here, um, you'll see that it's a .jpg.txt, so it's already been converted previously to a RenderMan texture. This happens at default by render time, but just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to use that one there. You can use a JPEG though, or PNG or EXR if you have those. Um, so if we take a quick render just in the viewport, you'll see that we've got our render working. Uh, however, the light is coming through on the sides here, obviously, because it is open on all sides. Um, and we just want it to come through this little window that I've cut out. So we're going to do that, stopping that. Okay, so now we will add in a render man light and we'll go to portal light. And I'm just going to position that so the R is facing into the window. And then just under the light settings for the portal light, we're just going to use the picker and we're going to select our dome light like so. And then if we just do a render in the viewport, You'll see that the light is now isolated to only come through this window here. You'll also notice that the, if I just come in here, as I change the angle, we can see different parts of that HDRI because it is visible there. So if we turn off the light primary visibility, it actually will take that out. So we're just seeing uh, if you are rendering this as a final EXR or whatever, that will just be alpha valued, um, so alpha of zero. So if you watched the previous um, breakdown comparison I did of RenderMan 23 and uh, Blender Cycles and Redshift, I used Portal Lights and, and RenderMan and uh, Redshift, and this is the way that they were set up, and I had to do it slightly different for Cycles. I very much prefer this method. Um, it does give you a lot more, well, it gives you a faster render time for starters because it's isolating where the rays can only shoot through. Uh, it will give you slightly better results in terms of realism, and I think that it's a quite a bit easier to set up frankly because you can just delete a bunch of faces and they don't get in your way when you want to have the camera in the room like so or if you want to have the camera slightly outside the room I know plenty of you will want to smash your keyboards and disagree with me in the comments like you did previously but this is my preference so hopefully that um, helped anyone looking to set that up I'll be going through all the other lights in some future tutorials so make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already that's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.